Good day everyone, hello and welcome back to Sterling's Global channel. My name is Arafal and I'm the founder of Sterling's Global, a UK-based accounting firm specializing in e-commerce and local businesses. As always, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you are new here, glad you could join us on this lovely day. On this channel, we do a deep dive into different pain points and challenges that our clients usually have and discuss valuable insights that can help entrepreneurs, self-starters and freelancers. We are currently doing a series on VAT or valuable added tax of various member states in the European Union. For today's topic, we are focusing on Cyprus VAT or Cypriot VAT. So, why discuss VAT in the EU? If you are an e-commerce seller, you know that VAT compliance is one of the trickiest aspects of running your online store. I have had my fair share of stress over it when selling goods to buyers in the region, but it can be very lucrative. I can tell you that the nitty gritty can be such a headache. We at Sterling's Global understand this roadblock to your operations. So let's get started. Cyprus is known for its breathtaking sites, rich history and cultural diversity. Nowadays, it offers untapped potential for business growth. If you plan to expand your market reach to this island nation, you must understand what Cyprus VAR is and how to comply with it. Knowing essential facts about VAT in Cyprus ensures you are doing business right to reduce the risk of costly oversights. Below is our practical guide on VAT compliance. First on the list, mind the lower threshold for VAT registration. European Union countries have their respective registration thresholds for engaging in activities subject to VAT, such as distance selling. In Cyprus, registration is mandatory for businesses with gross sales of 15,600 euros for 12 months. However, the current threshold stands lowest at 10,000 euro, which is an EU-wide floor for VAT registration. The reduced 10 over threshold was one of the changes reflected in the revised VAT rules for cross-border e-commerce implemented last July the 1st, 2021. But even if you think your total 10 over won't exceed the threshold, it's more prudent to register VAT with the local tax authority for compliance. Number two, you must be registered for Cyprus VAT. Before doing business in Cyprus, it's important to be VAT registered with the country's tax office to comply with their legislation. It bears repeating that registration is compulsory for businesses whose cross-border sales exceed the minimum threshold. Violations like submitting your forms late or selling taxable goods without applying for a VAT number may result in penalties, which can weigh on your margins. When you fail to comply, you face a fine of 85 euro for every month of delay, omission and or refusal. To be registered for Cyprus VAT, you must complete the forms TD2001 and TD1101, the latter in Greek. You must also attach the following documents to your application, a copy of the Articles of Associations or Incorporation, an excerpt from your business trade register, certificate of VAT liability if registered elsewhere in the EU, proof of taxable transactions in Cyprus, for example, copy of contract or invoices, original authorization documents such as power of attorney if done through fiscal representation. Submit or email the accomplished forms and documents to the district or local tax offices. Third fact, there is no need to establish a local company if your business involves distant selling or trade imported goods it should be registered for VAT. Fortunately, applying for a VAT number in Cyprus doesn't require a local presence, so non-resident businesses like yourself can 
obtain their VA despite being overseas. While you don't need to establish a local branch of your company to do business in Cyprus, you may need to work with a local firm for your VAT obligations. Right, so fourth on the list is fiscal representation may or may not be required for Cyprus. So bear that in mind. Registering for Cyprus VAT depends on where you're based on determining the whether you will need a fiscal representative or not. Non-EU companies are required to have one except for UK businesses post Brexit because the UK has got a special relationship with the EU which maintained a lot of things how it used to be prior to Brexit. All the fiscal representation is not mandatory for UK based companies, it's better to work with one to ensure stress free processing for or of your VAT application. Sterling's Global has a team of local tax agents to ease your burden of becoming VAT compliant in unfamiliar territory. Our fifth fact is something you would be glad to hear. You can be VAT registered in one EU state only. Yes, my friends, you have heard it right. You will only need a single registration to trade anywhere within the EU. And here is how. One primary purpose of the EU's revised rules on VAT for cross-border e-commerce is to simplify the entire process for traders. To support this goal, the Import One-Stop Shop, which is the IOSS, was developed and introduced. IOSS is the online platform for non-EU sellers that allows them to register for VAT in only one EU member state instead of being VAT compliant in the countries where they have buyers. Once e-commerce sellers get their unique IOSS number, they can start trading in any EU country without applying for a VAT ID in each. Distant sellers can declare and pay VAT for all EU sales on the electronic portal. The streamlined system ensures that the correct tax and amounts go to the right EU country making compliance more straightforward and effective for traders outside the EU. Sixth on our list is all goods imported to Cyprus are subject to VAT. Before the issuance of the EU's revised VAT rules on e-commerce, imported goods with less than 22 euros were considered exempt from VAT. However, this loophole was exploited by non-EU sellers to offer lower prices, undermining traders within the EU. They mislabel the goods to avoid charging and paying fat. The exemption no longer applies to imported goods. All items that enter the EU are charged with VAT, regardless of their value. If you are a cross-border seller, ensure you apply the correct rate for goods sold in Cyprus. Seventh fact is Cyprus standard VAR is above 15%. Like other member states, Cyprus based its legislation on the EU's directives on VAT. According to board guidelines, the standard VAT rate should be higher than 15%. The default rate is 19%, which is charged on most goods and services in the country. Since the country's VAT system is tiered, there are two reduced rates of 9% and 5% applied to certain goods, including supplies for hospitality and tourism industries, books, magazines, medicines, and fertilizers, to name a few. Here is our eighth fact. You must fulfill your VAT obligations. Being registered for Cyprus VAT means fulfilling your obligations as part of compliance. Your two most crucial responsibilities are paying the correct tax liability and filing the corresponding return within that deadline. Taxpayers must pay their VAT obligations and file the corresponding returns quarterly, which are due by 10th day of the second month following the end of the recovered reporting period. If the due date happens to be a weekend or public holiday, it is moved to the next working day. To file returns, accomplish form 
VAT4, which is number four, and submit it electronically via the TaxisNet system, which is a Cypriot VAT system by the governments. Apart from the deadlines, mind the following penalties for not complying on time. Number one is late filing, which is 51 euro per VAT return submitted late. Number two is late payment, which is 10% of the VAT due plus 3.5% annual interest rate on outstanding VAT amounts. The last on our list is that VAT compliance requires expertise. Complying with Cypriot VAT registrations and regulations is complicated because of continuously evolving rules and increasing obligations. As an entrepreneur, wearing multiple hats, juggling your responsibilities between operations and tax compliance may result in missed deadlines, hefty penalties and stressful audits. The most effective and cost-effective way to be VAT compliant is to partner with an experienced accounting firm like Sterling's Global. As your expert intermediary, we will handle your obligations from calculating VAT to filing the returns on your behalf. Before we answer some of the frequently asked questions about Cyprus VAT, let's do a quick recap of what's been discussed so far. The current threshold to register for VAT is 10,000 euro, which applies across the EU and is much lower than before. Is one of the changes implemented under the revised VAT rules for cross-border e-commerce in the world's largest trading bloc. You don't need to have a local presence to be VAT registered. As for fiscal representation, you are not required to have one if you are based in the UK. Otherwise, it's mandatory. Thanks to the revised VAT rules, you can be registered in one EU member state only but still be able to sell in all 27 countries. The IOSS makes that possible. Along with simplifying the declaration and payment of VAT for all imported goods and without any exception. When you register for VAT, you have obligations to fulfill, which means complicated compliance. It's advisable to work with an expert intermediary like Sterling's Global so it won't be as taxing as when you do it on your own. Now, we are going to answer some of your pressing questions. How long does VAT registration in Cyprus take? Right, so once you have submitted the forms and required documents, the processing of VAT registration normally takes several weeks to a month. You can expect to receive your VAT identification number by then. If you are pressed for time, consider registering for VAT through the IOSS. Next question is, can I register for Cyprus VAT on my own? Yes, you can handle the registration yourself. However, it's not the most efficient method for doing so. Instead of spending time and effort on this endeavor, it's better to work with an expert like Sterling's Global so you can focus more on running your business. Why should I leave VAT computation to a professional? Estimating VAT obligations yourself often leads to inaccurate calculations due to wrong rates, incorrect figures, and overlooked transactions. Ensure you are paying the correct amounts by having a tax professional calculate the VAT due. The advantages include cost savings and reduced risk of fines. You see, entering Cypriot VAT market is an excellent opportunity to expand your business. However, complexities regarding Cypriot VAT can offset growth through costly mistakes due to non-compliance. Be compliant without the complications with the above most new facts and by working with the local experts from Sterling's Global. So folks, that's all for today. We hoped today's discussion has taken of the veil on Cyprus VAT for you. To see how we can help you, do check out our website sterlingsglobal.com. We have tons of accounting related articles that could help you and so we would like you to stay in the know and stay in touch. So if you have enjoyed our tips and tricks or want to learn something more similar, 
please like, follow and subscribe to our media channels. Again, my name is Arful of Sterling's Global and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye now.